uh, good to see you guys that are just coming in. We are doing Hallelujah today. And so we're going to start with the melody. Again, we're in the key of C major. So that's kind of the scale that we're in. No sharps, no flats. We're sticking with naturals. So let's go ahead and start with this first phrase. We're just going to take it phrase by phrase and do these little chunks by ear. Okay, so just try to repeat it back as best you can. Here we go. Good, I'll do that one more time. For this next part, we're gonna learn how we can add to this melody to just kind of create some layers and some different effects. So normally, for those of you who have been to my workshops before, normally we'll learn the tune by ear, learn the melody, and then we'll add chords to it. In this case, I wanted to try something a little bit different, and instead of teaching you guys the chords, I thought we would just do um, harmonies and also add the octave down. So in this case, we're going to do drones instead of the chords. So don't worry about playing double stops. If you're not comfortable with double stops, um, this is great for you because we're not doing any double stops at all today. So we're just going to be playing... Um, for the most part, open strings just kind of droning long notes, and this is really great for the style of tune because it's on the slower side, and so it really fits in nicely with it. So, for this first part, since our first note is G, we're just going to simply play the octave down, so open G. And we're just going to drone that during the melody. Okay, so um, why don't I do this? Actually, I'm going to play my recording that I have on my loop pedal again, and I'm just going to play the octave drone so that you can hear how that sounds and what we're going to kind of break down here. So I'll go ahead and do that so you hear what I'm talking about. We're starting on open G. All right, so now for our third and final layer, and you could really go deep with this song. I mean, there, there are so many different things you could add to it and just you could keep building and building and building um, and just do really as much as you want. I've add several different layers. In this case, we're just gonna be working with three. We have the melody, we have the octaves, the drones, um, and then our third layer would be the harmony. Has anybody ever played harmony before or is anybody familiar with that? Okay, no. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is great. So with harmonies, there's kind of a general rule where there are certain notes that sound really good together and fit really nicely with each other, and then there are certain notes that don't work so well. How many of you are familiar with arpeggios? Okay, a couple of you, good. Yeah, hopefully if you're familiar with scales, you're also familiar with arpeggios. They kind of go hand in hand. Um, and arpeggios are basically just outlining the chords of a certain key. So with these uh, harmonies, there are certain notes that sound really nice together. And that's where chords come in, right? So if you were to think of a C major chord, the notes of a C major chord are C, E, and G. So if we were to take two of those notes and play them together, they fit really nicely together, right? So we can harmonize those notes. 